يشرفنا اليوم أن نقدم واحدة من هذه المحاضرات العميقة بعنوان تناول الطعام الطازج أثناء الساعات المباركة أمر مهم بالنسبة للممارسين الروحيين الجزء واحد من اثنان ضمن سلسلة بين المعلمة والتلاميذ والتي ألقيت باللغة الإنجليزية في السادس والعشرون من نوفمبر 2018 Hello. Can anybody hear me? Ah. Hello, Master. Good. That's wonderful. I thought nobody home. <laughs> How are you? How are you? How are you, Master? Yeah, I am fine. I'm still alive. Just today, originally, I wanted to come down to talk to you, to see you, and then something wrapped me up. I could not get off. And now, so late, and I... Uh, we have to arrange this way it's just to let you know that I I still think of you, huh? Thank you, Master. Tomorrow, if it's possible, I try to make it in daytime. Okay? Yeah. Okay. I'm so sorry. The situation is really was so urgent and I cannot uh, even leave. I cannot leave just for that. Yes, yeah, so now, so I have to just call you just to say hello and if you're all right. Just raining. Is it okay? You wet? Okay. <laughs> all right. Good, good. I told you I don't have a roof for you. I told you not to come and you, you all still come. Yeah. Yeah, we have a, a better one in Kaohsiung, but I have to work. I can't work in Kaohsiung. I work better near here. It's because of the situation and the arrangement like that. I will try to come see you tomorrow. Anybody leave tomorrow? Uh, who are you? Indonesia live? German sister. Uh, what time? Early morning, five. Oh my God! Why you come so and leave so early? Germany is that real German or Vietnamese German? No, um, uh, Indian German. Indian German. Yeah, Malaysian German, master. Malaysian German. Oh, I am so sorry. But maybe better you leave because it's so wet and <laughs> there's no roof. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe in the future it will get better, yeah? Might have some better place. I'm so sorry. I told you guys, I told you guys long ago, don't come. <laughs> it's just, I don't have a good place for you. Okay. 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 Cảm ơn gì đâu, đâu có chỗ cho quý vị gì đâu mà cảm ơn. Tụi con rất là sung sướng mà được được sư phụ cho nghe tiếng của sư phụ là tụi con mừng lắm rồi. Okay. Yeah, but the person who leaves tomorrow won't see me. What's your name, Germany? Maheshwari, Master. Maheshwari? Yes. Wow, what a holy name. <laughs> How long have you been here? One week? Yeah, one week. Uh, next time, just come during the weekend. is more chance, huh? Yes. I also have a lot of work to do. Have you seen me before? Yes, Master, many times. Many times? Yes. Oh, at least like that. Thank you. Mm. Uh, I'm sorry, you know, our situation and the karma of the world and many things always try to obstruct me, you know? Mm. When I want to see you guys, I cannot and all that. Oh, something happened, yeah? We understand, Master. You understand, but doesn't mean it makes you happy. <laughs> mm. I am so sorry, Mahesh, yeah? You know what? Yes, Master. Um, only you leave tomorrow or anyone else? Yeah, another German sister is also leaving. Yes. Vietnam, huh? 27 người. 27 người ngày mai về hết. Dạ. Dạ. 
27 người Việt Nam về À về Âu Lạc hả? À dạ Ok 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 let me think quick uh. Ok just one moment à, Đợi một chút ok Ok you, you guys stay there ok Can you guys just stay there Maybe uh, half an hour yeah, yeah. So who is going tomorrow? All this here? Only you? They told me 27. Ah. I drop everything, come down because you say you're going five o'clock in the morning. Couldn't you wait five o'clock in the afternoon? Okay, never mind, have a look then. Hmm? Higher, rồi hả? Higher, đi về sớm vậy? Hai giờ đâu có máy bay đâu. Hả? Tự mình bay hả? Ok. Ai giờ đi xe bus hiểu rồi. Có người chở đi hả? Hay là đi xe bus? Hmm. Where's my telephone? I just want to see what time is it. So, oops. Sorry, sorry. What are you looking at? Why are you laughing? Huh? Why? Modernize, huh? Yeah, I'm telling you, I know everything now. <laughs> now it's 12.34. You have one hour or something to run, yeah? God. I don't even know how to use... Uh, that's all I know, okay? And if I press like this, sometimes it don't work. And I say, hey, come on. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's working. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I don't, I want to turn off, it turns on. And sometimes I want to turn on, it turns off. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still getting used to with this uh, temperamental <laughs> machine. It's very good stuff. Good tablet, yeah? Look like a stone tablet, but it's a real, real thing, yeah. Ah, oh, wow. Nowadays we take everything for granted. So modernized now. Is it stopped raining already? Oh. I wanted to come see you in the morning, at daytime, but I could not. There was something going on. And then something else going along with it. You understand? One thing lead to another. Yeah? So many things, and I was really tied up and wrapped up, I could not go. And then when I realized it, it's too late. So I thought, okay, I take a shower and quickly look at my other kind of tablet, you know, the bigger one, many, many number, many, many letters on it. <laughs> See what I have to do. Every day is some work. And then what happened? And then I heard you crying something down here. I thought maybe somebody is leaving, yeah, because I didn't come down today, so maybe I thought I'd come have a look at you, see if you're still okay. Sorry about the situation, huh? I told you not to come to my place here in Taiwan. I told Taiwanese also don't come, <laughs> because <laughs> we don't have anything here, huh? You have a holiday, right? Holiday time, right? And you thought, okay, I make a holiday. Not here. Here, <laughs> nothing to look at. <laughs> Only the rain. Did, and if you did not bring any raincoat or any umbrella, you're in trouble. Hmm? Your rice becomes soup. <laughs> right? <laughs> because <laughs> even your eating area, there's no roof either. These are recently put up, but still the, the one who sits in between is getting wet, no? What kind of holidays are you making here? Ah. <laughs> I said I don't have anything here. Everybody knows it. For many decades already, we have nothing. 
You going now? Come here. Come this way quickly. How many are you? Thirteen. Hey, souvenir. Korea. Come to Amita. Anya, she Come here, Korea, huh? All of you, Korea? Yes, all Korea. Korea, come here. Oh. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Oh. Your master very poor. Huh? Only small houses. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh. Okay. Okay, come, come along here. Grateful with some cakes. Come on. Uh, <laughs> all right, there you go. Come to Amida. Thank you. Huh? Have a good trip, okay? Have a good trip. <laughs> good trip, yeah. Souvenir. Come to Amida. Come to Amida. Have a good trip. How you say have a good trip in Korean? Yes, I Same, same? No, it's like a. <laughs> Love you too. Yeah. I also don't feel good that I could not spend all my day with you. My dogs feel the same. No matter how much I spend time with them, they're never enough. I just for example, from their room, I just leave to go to the bathroom. Five minutes, come back later. <laughs> Waking tail everywhere. Waking the whole body and go, you know? Like, <laughs> a long time no see. Yeah, this is a problem with the love. Love just binds you so tight. Yeah, hate, it make you want to run away. Love want to tie you. <laughs> very, very difficult. Very difficult. Yeah. Very difficult when you are loved by someone. You don't want to leave. And when you leave, you feel like something twisting in your heart. Uh, your, your feet feel heavy, you know. Oh, go, go, don't go. <laughs> I want to go this way, just go that way. <laughs> it's a problem. Yeah, what to do? Um, there's one solution is that you meditate well, hmm, sincerely, and keep yourself pure at heart. And then one day we all go up. And you can see me all day, all night, every time. There's no day, no night, nothing over there. And we all like one, you know, feel good. It doesn't feel like have to leave because of bus, because of airplane, because of visa. Everywhere is like that. They have some regulation and, you know, law. This place we cannot build anything. This is already very good. I know, but you get wet. The one in the middle of the two tend together get wet, right? I said, well, you didn't have umbrella, hat, nothing? You have extra clothes? Yeah. But if every day like this, you don't have enough time to change. Yeah. And the food is good, at least? Yeah? It would be nice if each one have like one room, hey? Yeah. With a toilet. Inside, and sweet, eh? and sweet, and then bathroom, eh? running water, yeah, carpet, eh? sofa, eh? big king size bed, eh? run around, meditate, eh? and the way you meditate, you need a king size bed, so, so you don't fall on the floor, <laughs> sit right in the middle, eh? yeah. The Buddha doesn't know my disciples. That's why he said. You cannot sit on the big, tall or large bed. Uh, you need it. Yeah. You know, the Buddha disciple, if they meditate, they don't need to sit anywhere, you know? Maybe they have a hammock only. 
but you meditate <laughs> too well, you know? Yeah, all direction, you know? One time, front direction, oops, hit the brother in the front, oh, wow, he's uh, sorry. <laughs> Sit again, <laughs> okay, wake up. <clears throat> and then next time, oh, the back direction, <laughs> hit the back sister, oh, God, that's no good. Sorry, sorry. And then next time, the right side seems good. Oh, oh God, no, 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 no. And then the brother pushes you back. And, and then next time, on the left side, see? You meditate. I mean, you are really omnipresent. Also, yeah. So, Buddha. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, omnipresent. Yeah, everywhere you you are. You know, <laughs> the, <laughs> the, I sit here. <laughs> it is not safe if I meditate right now. I probably be influenced by your power of samadhi. Then I might also go <laughs> all over direction. You know? Uh, oh well, hey. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Never know when I go into samadhi. Yeah. So this is no problem. Yeah. Would be nice if we each one one room, huh? King size bed. Big sofa. Mm. With the foot rest in the front, huh? <laughs> Anyone can meditate and become Buddha like that, no? <laughs> Wonderful life, yeah. Huh? Ah. Nice, yeah. Don't have. Sorry. <laughs> we don't have such thing here. Mm. Even I don't have. <laughs> nah, I have a sofa. I have a little sofa. Mm. Most of my sofas, uh, I have many sofas actually, in one small room. Mm. Dog sofa number one, dog sofa number two, dogs number three, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and they also sit on my sofa. So actually, it don't belong to me. <laughs> Nothing belongs to me in the house. Originally, I don't have a house. Originally, I don't like house. Too much cleaning, yeah? And otherwise, I have to call somebody to clean. And sometimes they understand, they clean. Sometimes they don't understand or they don't want to understand, come back home. Huh? What? Everything is the same. <laughs> Very familiar, you know? Mm. It's, it wastes a lot of time if you stay in the house. You have to clean a lot. And now, even worse, the dogs, you know, they go and they trail their blankets everywhere, they drop their little bone everywhere, and I have to always clean up because the ants will come. These are very smell very strong, and they come all over the house. Before, I don't know what ants is, <laughs> and now <laughs> a lot of them. Hey, did mosquitoes bite you here? No? Or maybe too many people? Or too many people, they just pit, 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 so you don't feel nothing, right? <laughs> they have choices, right? Yeah. Oh, this guy, oh, German, maybe try, try a little bit foreign food. <laughs> Take it out. Oh, no good. Go to Korean. Oh, kimchi, it tastes better. <laughs> Oh, go Indonesian. Oh, the food is more spicy. Oh, Indian. Yeah, curry. Oh, very strong flavor. By the way, talking about flavor, if possible, you don't eat leftover food, okay? Because uh, the demons, they favor leftover food. So they, they will kind of take away the purity of the food. So if you eat it again, you're mixing with the demons. Energy, not too good, okay? Try to cook just enough and then you just eat that. Next time you cook again, the demons cannot go near you because if you keep the five precepts well, yeah, and you meditate enough, the demons cannot go near you. But they don't have to go near you to take the flavor of the food. You understand that? So, if you eat again, it seems like you eat the leftover from the demons. The demons, they don't have to be near you to 
enjoy the flavor from your leftover food because the flavor is just like a smoke, you know, or the smell, the fragrance of the cooking or the flowers, they are just permeated in the air or in the atmosphere, so they can always enjoy that. They are allowed to. But uh, I feel very sorry for them, so I often leave a morsel or two after eating my food so that they can partake of that flavor. You can do the same if you would like to. If you cook a lot, you take out some that you eat only, and whatever left that could be okay, yeah? And for example, if you are eating and you are busy, like me sometimes, uh, then still some food left over and you working, working and you want to eat again later, within nine minutes, it's okay. After that, the demons are allowed to eat your food because it's kind of left over. It's like discarded food. They don't have enough merit to eat fresh and wonderful food, so they allow to eat whatever so-called discarded. Therefore, uh, we better eat what's fresh, yeah, better, okay? Otherwise, uh, you might feel agitated, unpeaceful, unrestful for meditation or for dealing with many things in the world, okay? I also personally experience that, so I tell you the truth, okay? Yeah. But in this world, it's sometimes very difficult to, to adhere to those uh, principles. Like uh, uh, most of the monks, you know, the monks under Buddha, they eat only before noon. After noon, they don't eat anymore. Number one, because they have to uh, meditate and uh, go to the Buddha uh, assembly in order to listen to his teaching. They cannot go all day, go back in outside, you know? So they beg one time, go for arm one time, and then uh, they uh, go, after eating, they have to wash and clean, and then go for group meditation, like the way you do. Hmm? Yeah. When the Buddha was still alive, yeah? So the monks, they don't eat after noon time, okay? Because up to three o'clock is, is still a good time, okay? Up to three o'clock in the afternoon is still a good time to eat. Up to six o'clock maximum is the best time to eat. Because after that, it would be the taking over from the negative force. And then whatever you eat, it might not be easy to digest or it might not make you that healthy as you would like to be, because it tainted with some negative uh, influence. Yeah, Up to six o'clock is okay. After three o'clock, it's already going to the negative uh, zone of time in our world. Yeah, But up to six o'clock, the sun is still shining. The reason we still can eat up to six o'clock because the sun always frighten these kind of demons, these kinds and other lower kinds, weaker kind. Not all of them are frightened, but the demons, they are lowly anyway. So up to six o'clock, the sun is still there. Even though you don't see the sun, like a cloudy day, rainy day, the sun is still there. The sun's power is still radiating into the world. Thus, if you eat within these hours, yeah, up to six o'clock, from, uh, from three o'clock morning, early morning up to six o'clock in the afternoon, it is still okay. Uh, better not eat after that. Up to six o'clock, we can eat because the sun is still there. But it's uh, different in different countries. It depends on what time the sun set. Also depends on the season as well. Just eat before the sun set. That will be good. I am okay. I can eat any time I want or not eat. Because in my surrounding, I, 
I have created, or heavens have created with me a protected area. So I don't get much harm from whatever I do. But uh, most of people, they might have I bad influences from the negative force in this world. Maybe that's the reason why our world is uh, often very restless. Even in a peaceful country, uh, we don't have as good energy as heavens, yeah, as in heaven. You understand now? Mm. And then uh, we eat many things like uh, onions, garlics, and stuff like that. Also make us also restless, yeah, less peaceful. I don't know why I talk about these onions, garlics now. They are also some kind of medicine, okay? Uh, in the West, uh, like when I was in France or I in England, people, they brew onion soup in winter uh, to prevent the cold, to prevent having the cold. And also sometimes they put onions in the pocket of their children. <laughs> to prevent uh, having coldness, yes. Also garlic, sometimes it, uh, it also cleans your blood, yeah, it's, it, in some cases, yes. Uh, but not to be like eaten, you know, often, yeah. Even though it has medicinal uh, property, but it does also have a spiritual uh, bad side, yeah, side effect. Uh, okay, la. Do you have any question? Any good question? Yeah. How about raw food? How about what? Raw food. A uh, raw food? Yeah, the demon still eat after nine minutes. <laughs> yes, anything that is left over, they are allowed to eat if they want to eat. Okay. Mm. The food with. A lot of flavor, they, of course, they like because they can feel it, even though they don't have body, but they can sense it from afar. So they can even take the flavor from far away from you. Raw food also has some other effect, uh, like the enzyme is still very much alive. So it could, if you're very sensitive, sometimes I'm very sensitive, I feel that. Also make you a little restless, but some people think it's energetic, <laughs> okay? It depends on if you need a lot of action, yeah? or if you like to have more quiet time. Mm. It depends also whether or not you are very sensitive to the enzymes, uh, activities, uh, enzyme activeness, yeah? Mm. Okay. The food, if you, if you take half of it first into some different bowl and eat it, and whatever the food left there, if you don't touch it yet, I have no, not of your saliva, or you don't eat from it and then left, then it's okay, understand? But if you eat like half a bowl, and then half a bowl left, the same bowl, same bowl, same, same food, but you eat already half, left half, then, then it's counted as leftover. You won't get testing, test different spoon. You take a spoon, you put it in a little uh, bowl or cup, you taste from that. Then the food is still okay. Even that's why in the, in the Buddhist uh, sutra, the Buddha told you uh, whatever not offered to the Buddha, you should not eat. See that? Yeah. Number one, because of respect. Number two, because of maybe like that. The demons have tested it already. And if the Buddha eats, it's no good. You see what I mean? Yeah. Even no good for us, how will be good for the Buddha, huh? Yeah. But the Buddha uh, may be okay, uh, maybe because Buddha has protective power. But at that time, he, he has many monks. So when we taste it, we should better give, have a different cup. Mm. Then your food is still pure and new, okay? Also food, when you eat, 
uh, left over or overnight also no good, okay? Would be better eat fresh every day, yeah? Not even cook for today, eat tomorrow. <laughs> but for my convenience, sometimes I do that. I have no time to keep cooking, understand? Put in the fridge and it's still fresh, no, I'll just take it out, eat it. It still tastes good though, huh? But of course, when it's warm, you're used to it. It's warm and fresh, it tastes better than from the fridge, yeah. But I had not always the choices, yeah. I'm very, very busy. Whenever I come out see you, oh, look like relaxed, like I not have nothing to do except looking at you and talk nonsense <laughs> and smile, <laughs> make jokes, but I'm quite very busy, very busy, yeah. I think I'm a very good monk, you know, in many precepts I'm a good monk. Like the monk cannot take a shower every two weeks, yeah? In India maybe don't have room, don't have water. I, I am the same, <laughs> not because, <laughs> not because I, I do it for a precept, but because I have no time, <laughs> understand? So I think in a way I'm a very good monk. Uh, maybe, maybe in India they don't, did not have enough water at that time, yeah? They have just a limited water from a well, and it's difficult to always draw it up. Yeah, or maybe because they're busy, the monks are busy, no idea. But I can tell there's a very good precept, very good excuse for me. It's good to be busy also, but sometimes it's just too busy, too busy, it's not too good, yeah. Never mind, I'm still better than better than uh, busy with uh, things that is not useful or not helpful to anyone, yeah. I am very happy that I still can do some work and that helps other people. I remind them to practice, remind them to remember their higher selves and the freedom that they used to have before they've been trapped into this body. Hmm? I'm happy to be able to still do that. <laughs>